video, we will be discussing about the design of toe slab, heel slab and the stem counterforts. This is the continuation of the counterfort retaining wall design. There are many methods to design these elements. So here we will be discussing about the design of these elements using StatPro. As I have done the design using the plate method but the results are similar and uh, the stat I am feeling is e much easier. So first we will be discussing about that. So now first we will be going for the stem between the counter forts. What is the dimension and what, are, what will be the forces apply, applicable for this stem between the counter forts. The dimension is 6.5 by 2.5 which is the center to center distance between the counter forts. And the force which is applicable is earth pressure and the rival surcharge. So we need to make the model. Going for the stat pro, new project space stem of 6.52 meter height and uh, 2.5 meter width. Next plate finish. We are making the model in XY plane, which is in y direction it is 6.52 and x it is 2.5 and 2.5 and 6.52 now we can go to make a plate now we need to surface make a surface to provide a proper meshing of the stresses sorry again we need to go for the surface I really don't understand why this note is not getting selected we will try it once more going for the quadrilateral <laughs> yes we can delete the previous one as uh, we are making another and here we will go for the five divisions as the width is very less so ten divisions will be more apply so now we will go for the support support create fix support we add so we will be this will be supported uh, on three sides as both the sides counterforts and bottom slab. So these are the. Now we will be providing the property to the plate. So plate thickness we will be providing as uh, 0.3. 0.3 for the stem material as concrete add so here assign to the selected plate assign. now we will be seeing what are the loads applicable over here which is earth pressure add is let us consider as dead load earth pressure we will be adding both earth pressure as well as plate load it is 
which hydrostatic load we are you can provide a trapezoidal load as well but you need to provide for the all elements separately but i want to reduce some effort so we are going for the hydrostatic now we need to select the plates done now the minimum now the load is what is the load 38.06 plus 6.7 which is uh, 44.76 and 6.7 this minimum and maximum is just showing the direction so here we will be intermolating in y direction and the direction of pressure will be of global z at close so here you can see the application of load which is ok now analysis no print we are not printing anything now close now we will go further and analysis so there is no error we have made the model properly so now we can go for the stress diagrams first we will be seeing the moment in x direction apply close so moment in x direction this is a saucer kind of bending and uh, x direction here it is bending so here you can see the moments maximum or minimum moments so here negative moment is maximum as the bending is in downward direction and uh, here it is in positive as the bending is upward direction so this negative and positive just a sign just a sign to see the direction and you can design the reinforcement for these values of moment the similar way you can see for my so here the positive moment will be maximum and here the negative will be moment will be maximum so these are the moments you can design in the next video we will be discussing about the toe slab and heel slab analysis and then we will be discussing about the design of these members thank you for watching the video please do like and subscribe my channel thank you so much